Hello everyone, welcome to Gun Investments. Uh, this video is an analysis video for intraday traders uh, for tomorrow, that is 22nd Feb 2022. Uh, we have marked some important levels on Nifty, Bank Nifty, and few other stocks. So this video would help you to research. I mean to enhance your research by yourself. This is an educational video. This is not any financial or trading or investing tip. So take this as purely on educational purpose and learning purpose. So we start uh, on Nifty. Nifty as you see that every time it goes to 350, 375 levels, it is facing a stiff resistance and the sell on rise scenario happens to continue. Today what happened was we opened gap down. We went on to take some important support at 1770, 75 levels. We went 300 points higher and then again cooled off like uh, almost like 100 points 140 points from the day high so we have closed around 17205 now what i can see nifty is only good about 260 levels this is a no trading zone for nifty 17265 to 17 so let's suppose 17 225 225 and 265 this 40 points is a no trading zone for nifty if tomorrow nifty opens below 200 and start continue trading for at least 10 15 minutes i would look out for this level to be tested again that is 70 70 okay and thereafter if it gives a breakdown of 17 70 at any point of time tomorrow itself intraday traders I'm talking about then I would see more 70 200 point slip on index so I will be only bull specifically if nifty gives me a close on 15 minutes time frame above 375 tomorrow and if it starts trading below 200 or 170 at least then I will look for much lower levels on nifty on higher side if it crosses 17375 it might go and retest 17450 to 510 levels which i highly doubt but still we need to be prepared for both the side so on the higher side 17375 it if it crosses then 17450 to 17510 levels if below gives a breakdown below 17175 then more 100 points intraday traders may, might be possibly able to grab Moving on, uh, this is Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty again, we can see as per price action, it opened gap down, covered the gap and started taking some resistance on the higher side and now trading below 38,000. 38,000 is a psychological level for this weekly or monthly expiry. So keep a strong, uh, you can say, a point marked over there on your chart that if it crosses 38,000, gives you a close above that particular level in 15 minutes time frame then we can possibly see a swift move on bank nifty for three to four hundred even five hundred points on that particular day today it happened so it gave a close about 3880 it went on to make a high of 38 75 38 400 levels and then it again took that resistance it returned so now what i will look for if tomorrow bank nifty for some some of the other reason it starts trading below 35600 this level particularly if i may mark 35600 then i will look out for 2 to 300 points on the downside and if it start trading again above 3880 then i will look out for 2 to 300 points on the higher side above levels will be only and only covered by bank nifty then if 38375 is cross then we will look for 38800 yes around 450 points and if 38825 or 38840 is cross then we look out for 39 100 and 200 levels on the downside if 37500 is cross and given a close in 15 minutes time frame then i will look for more 3 to 400 downside on this particular index nifty bank moving on uh, this is TCS now TCS looks bearish to me if I show you a daily chart here 
it has taken an important support here for today before closing it has slightly close about this tra uh, tr trend line now if we see any breakdown below 3700 that is a round number a psychological number in 15 minutes time frame we might possibly see TCS coming to 3650 levels oh sorry 3680 to 3650 levels intraday so keep a close watch on 3700 on TCS if taken out in first 15 to 20 minutes then we will see a swift downfall on TCS I will maintain my stop loss like 20 to 25 points as per my risk appetite on this particular stock if I'm trading intraday on the short side moving on uh, reliance reliance again a sell on rise clear indication that it is not able to sustain about 24 40 24 50 levels if it crosses 24 50 55 then we might be able to see 2500 and plus levels but 2450 is acting as a stiffest resistance on this particular stock now if reliance give a close below this no trading zone now when I say no trading zone it's like purely an ignore or you know avoidable levels of on this particular stock 2380 if taken down by reliance tomorrow then we see one to two person move on the downside and I will not trade unless and until reliance crosses 2455 on the bull side on the higher side or maybe you can say on the upside I'm waiting for the stock to give a breakdown below 2385 80 levels then I will look out for some one to two person move on this particular stock moving on Titan Titan is given a clear indication that it is making a bearish flag in 15 minutes time frame it is only good above 25 15 levels for now I will look down look out for this breakdown level if Titan give me a close on any 15 minutes time frame below 24 50 and 24 45 levels I will look for more downside levels on this particular stock around 2400 that is a psychological level and a reversal point of this stock it came down swiftly it made a reversal here from 2400 psychological level and below 2400 I will see this stock giving more pain to investors around 2380 and even 2300 possibly so we'll move as per our levels if given a breakdown below 2445 I will continue with my bearish trade on Titan with a stop loss can say like one person that is 25 to 30 rupees as per my risk appetite and I will continue to trail for the maximum profit so if this video if such video analysis video is helping you and you are new to the channel please do subscribe it and I will try to upload as many learning videos and important levels mark on index and stocks on frequent basis thank you